Hey folks, thanks for coming back. I had this all together before I realized that uh, you might like to see a video of it being put together. So this is the counter shaft. It sits right below the main shaft with the clutch baskets on it. And it's oriented this way in the tractor towards the engine transmission. Large gear grabs onto the gear on the main shaft at the back. And this actually acts with your idler. So they sit like this in the transmission. So there's only one gear on the idler. And so we've got two gears on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them together right now. So, well, I'm only gonna put together the, uh, the counter shaft because it's really the, um, I don't know, it's the most difficult one to keep straight in your head, I guess. So the counter shaft's got 68 needle bearings in it, separated by washers. So here's one of the uh, spacers. Okay, so one of these sits, um, it sits between each row of needles. So you got four rows of needles in here. So I'm just going to put them in. You've got 17 needles in each row. Now, the reason you need the grease is just to hold them steady while you fart around with this. And you put them in. And they just stay there. You put enough grease. It'll all stay right where you put it. Simple as that. Just go all the way around placing your needles. They don't have to be perfect. As long as they're stuck to the sides, that's all that matters. Sometimes you'll have them stick into your glove, but that's just the way it goes. So, basically, we get our 17 in there. I think we got room for one more. There we go. So, now this is the spacer for the counter shaft. So you put a washer on there and you just jam it up from the bottom. There we go. And you push all your needles straight, okay? Then you push a washer on top, push down. There may be easier ways to do this. I don't know. But I don't really care. This is the way I do it. If there's actually an easier way, put it in the comments section. So like I said, I already had this all together before I realized that it might be a good thing to do a video on it. So I took it apart. This is actually not the counter shaft that I have in the tractor right now. That counter shaft's in the tractor. And these are just spare parts that I have laying around. And I wanted to put them together anyway to make sure that they didn't go anywhere. I'm gonna possibly need these at some point in the future. Maybe I won't, but having them around certainly isn't gonna hurt. So I'm gonna put them all together and make sure that they're put in a safe spot so that if I ever do need them, if I come across something that's damaged, then, uh, then I'll have them here. Um, as a matter of fact, this shaft here, now it doesn't have any wear on this end. Well, it's got a little bit of wear. And, but on this end too, it's got wear. So I don't think I'd use this again because uh, there's just no need to. I've got lots of the parts, so I don't have to, uh, I don't have to reuse any parts that are garbage. Now maybe at some point in the future, if I was really desperate, I might might consider it but for now I can just put them aside for a rainy day so oh, hang on a second there before we go too far now you need one of these in there between the uh, long spacer 
and the needles. This is just a separator for the needles. So we put our needles in. Uh, you know what? The needles are greased, but a little extra grease won't hurt. There we go. Just keep them in place while you're placing them. I hope everybody can see this. Now my hand, uh, you know what, I'll try to work with my left hand so that you can see what I'm doing here, I apologize. But my, uh, my left hand doesn't work all that good. So I kind of learned to work with my right. But uh, this is, you know, I, I don't have to put a lot of grip into this, so I can do it with my left hand. So the needles with the grease, they just stick to the sides. We put them in here. You're going to know if you got one missing. And for sure, you're going to know if you've got one too many in there. So you put another spacer, and then you push down. There we go. And then we're ready for another row of needles. So you got four rows of needles, 17 needles per row, 68 needles total. So I put these in here. I uh, apologize again, covering up my work. There we go. Now I'm not gonna take apart the idler. I've already done that. And it's pretty much the exact same procedure. So you just take this apart and you put your washer on. Actually, what we'll do, we'll just put the shaft up through. If your shaft won't go through, then you got a problem. Okay, just like that. And then you put this down in. You got a thrust washer on each one, each end. Okay, so basically, you've got brass thrust washers on the counter shaft, and you've got fiber, one fiber thrust washer on the idler. Now, this is done. I'm just going to set it aside in a box of parts. And let me just take this off for a moment. I do believe I have forgotten something. second here. No. Okay, everything is good. Although we did forget a needle in there. Shh. But it's not going anywhere anyway. So this is the idler, and it's the exact same setup, except it's got half the number of needles in it. So you've only got the one gear at the front. You've got uh, 34 needles in there. Now we have them. So this sets in like this. Again, you've got a washer, row of needles, washer, row of needles, washer, and then you've got your thrust washer. Okay. So then you've got generally you'll have two spacer washers here. Now on my machine, there's two spacer washers. On yours, there could be one. Put back in what comes out. Uh, you don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. You want it just the way that it came apart. Let's put this in. And that's it. So we have two sets of needle bearings that we can just call on at any time we need. And there you have it. All right, folks. Have a nice day. 
and we'll see you next time.